In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use set actions to drill down into one specific category. So let's start by building a hierarchy. That way I can demonstrate what I wanted to do. So I'm going to call this my product hierarchy. And when I put the category into the view, you'll notice um, how when I drill in, I see my subcategories. But when I hit the when I hit the the, the plus or the minus sign, you get either all or nothing for the subcategories. And what we want to be able to do is when I click on furniture, I want it to just drill, just show me the subcategories for furniture. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? Well, first off, we need to create a set based on category. And I'm going to call it my category set and hit OK. And if I put this into the view right now, you'll see that these are all out of the set. That's because I haven't chosen anything yet. So let me go ahead and remove that. I just wanted to show you what that was doing. Actually, let me leave it in because it'll probably demonstrate a bit better what Tableau is doing. But I'm going to remove subcategory from my view. So what I want to do now is I want to create a calculated field. And I'm going to call it uh, uh, subcategories. And I'm going to say, if my set action has been selected, then I want to show my subcategories. Else, I don't want to show anything. And hit OK. And now let's go ahead and put that in the view. And you'll see I have all blanks because I haven't clicked on a category. But notice when I click on a category, it's not, Tableau is not doing anything. So I have to tell Tableau what to do or how to set up my action. So I'm going to go up to Worksheet Actions. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new action that is, says change the set values. So I'm going to say update my category set. And in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and pick my target set as my category. I want to do it when I select a category. And after I deselect a category, I want it to remove everything from the set. Hit OK again. So now when I click on furniture, You'll see it splits out, and now my set says in or out. So I just wanted to show you what that would do. So let me go ahead and take that off the view. So I click on subcategories, and there we go. I click on technology, and there we go. OK, now what would be really useful is to be able to have some kind of indicator next to the category to say whether or not I'm drilled in. So I'm going to create a new field called categories. And I'm going to say if my category set has been selected, then what I want to do is I want to add a little indicator before that. So I'm going to just going to go ahead and say, OK, they've picked something. So I'm going to show a little down arrow. I'm going to add a space after it. Else, I want to show a right pointing arrow with a space. And, and then I want to tack onto that my category. All right, so I'll show you what this does now. So I'm going to put categories into the view. And notice how I get a little indicator next to it. So when I click on furniture, it goes down and drills furniture in there. Go back, and there we go. So I probably should go ahead and set my default sort for my categories. Um, actually, let me go ahead and click it here. Uh, OK, so we can see well, when I click furniture, you see how it expands out, right? So furniture moves to the bottom of the list, and I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and sort these. And I'm going to do it manually. And I just want furniture to be at the top. OK, and let's see if that handles it. OK, there we go. But now furniture is back at the bottom. So let me sort this again, because it now has a different symbol. So I want furniture to always be at the top. OK. And now when I click Office Supplies, that one moves to the bottom. So I need to add that to my sort as well. <clears throat> so I have to go through all of the different examples here. OK. And there we go. And so that's good there. And when I click on Technology, Technology stays at the bottom. So we're good to go. Right, Everything is sorted properly now. OK, but we have this extra column here for Category. So I can either move that to the Detail Shelf, or I can just hide it. So I think uh, let me just go ahead and move it to the Detail Shelf. That'll be good enough. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make turn this into a nice simple table. So where do we have here? So I'm going to put my order ID up there. And I'm going to go ahead and put sales onto the label shelf. And we get a nice little table. And now when I drill in, I can see each of my individual items at the subcategory level. 
So what I would probably do from here is I would uh, go ahead and hide the field labels because these look a bit tacky with the with the, with it saying subcategories there. And notice I have this little bit of shading here. So I'm going to go up to Format and Shade. And I'm going to reduce my row level band size down. And now they all look pretty good. So if I hit the plus sign next to the furniture, you'll see I get each of those. So that's a very, very basic use case for set actions. And again, uh, you can go ahead and build categories and stretch them out into subcategories with set actions. So I hope you found that useful and have a good day.